Hello, Libra viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what actions they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks. So for the Libras that are watching this video, what's going on with your love life right now? What is going on with your love lives? Four of Swords, the Magician, Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, that's interesting, the Moon, and the Chariot. Okay, I feel like you're going through a lot right now. The Four of Pentacles, I know it's not the traditional meaning of the card, but whenever I pull it, I see in this particular deck, I see somebody who's kind of bored with life. It's kind of just like this stagnant energy. And I noticed with the Four of Swords and the Magician here, I feel like the Magician is saying that you're using, you're getting into that Magician energy, um, especially with the Moon and the Chariot at the end too, to pull yourself out of this. You're basically using your intuition and your wisdom to get out of this energy. You're trying to see things from a higher perspective. With the Four of Swords, I feel like it's like isolation and loneliness and kind of feeling just secluded from everyone and everything and and you know might be some heartbreak here maybe some pain coming up um you i mean you'd be in this energy already but i don't think it's something that's coming i think it's either just happened um but i don't think it's something that's going to happen if it hasn't happened already for this group i feel i feel like it's most likely you're already in that energy if this is for you if this is your reading that is with the magician right after the four of swords though it kind of feels like you're you're using your magic and this could be witchcraft this could just be just universal magic just your your power your ability to manifest the life that you want um but it's kind of like a really chaotic back and forth energy because you see right after that it's like you're using the magician to get out of the four of swords energy of of isolation and loneliness and seclusion and pain but then we have the four of pentacles where it's like you kind of it's kind of up and down it's almost like this bipolar type energy not that you're not that you're bipolar but it's just like very similar energy to that at least you know with the four of pentacles it's kind of like you you know you look like look at her she looks bored with life she's like there's just like this something's missing um with the three of pentacles though it's kind of it's like again it's just up and down energy that you're going through right now i think with the three of pentacles it's you know creativity you're trying really hard to gain your footing and manifest the kind of life that you want. With the Ten of Swords, it could be a betrayal that you recently went through, like the loss of a friend or a lover or an ex or even a job. Just some type of betrayal or, or pain. It could even just be a nostalgia coming up. It could just be that you're going through the shadow work right now and you're, you're in this phase where you're healing and a lot's coming up to the surface to be dealt with. A lot of maybe family issues too, like childhood wounds and stuff resurfacing. With the Ten of Swords, it's kind of like the um, the darkness right before the dawn. It's like new things are coming in, but you have to go through this purging, cleansing process before they can come in, before you have space for them to come into your life. Um, no, it's it's like the final Ten of Swords. It's like the the. Um, in the minor arcana, at least, it's like no more battles or anything. It's like the last battle. It's like you're there, but it's still painful for you right now in this moment. Whatever it is, whether it's nostalgia or just missing somebody or just like falling out with somebody, whatever that energy might be, it's just like this, this temporary pain. But, you know, you know the light is coming and you're using your intuition here with the moon see the moon here and then the chariot and the moon is looking towards the chariot so it's like you're moving past this ten of swords energy you're moving past that and you're moving on with the chariot here um and with the magician as well you know the moon it's, it's mysterious it's it's this raw feminine creative energy it's um dreams fantasies it can be it can be fantasies at least it's um intuition and it might also be referring to the recent um, dark moon that we were in. It might be, it might have, maybe that dark moon brought up a lot for you to, to purge and heal. 
and but you're looking for it either way you're 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 going through this purging process you know that the light is just at the end of the tunnel finally you know that at least the battle's over whatever just happened you know that at least there's no more battles there's something good finally coming for you and yeah you're using your intuition to get out of this this ten of swords energy you're you're seeing from a higher perspective or you're trying to at least you're trying to um you know, let go of this pain and heal from it. And, and you're moving forward with the chariot here. So, oh, I'm sorry, Key. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let me see what else I can get as far as uh, love goes. I almost feel like... Because I know the last reading we did, I was getting that, you know, your person is in this karmic situation and that they're, like, regretting not coming forward to you. Like, they're regretting choosing the karmic, but I'm almost wondering if you're still stuck in that same situation. Because I do sense heartbreak. And this could be with the person. So let me see. All right, what's going on with love? Let me see what's going on with love. Specifically with love. I want to see what's going on with love. What's happening here? What's happening with your romantic life? Four of Pentacles again, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the same energy. That's interesting. Ten of Swords, Two of Cups, Page of Swords, Five of Wands, the Star. Yeah, so it's still kind of a little bit of a back and forth chaotic energy, it looks like. I feel like... I just feel like you're so bored and lonely and it's like you want to reach out to this person but maybe you're waiting for them to reach out to you. So with the Four of Pentacles, it's like, again, she's bored. With the Eight of Pentacles, it's kind of like about, I mean, it's about apprenticeship, but it's also about, you know, having to be patient and having to persevere and having to just concentrate. It's like somebody that has to study and work hard for something, you know? And I kind of feel like you've been working hard for this connection, for this relationship, and you're just wondering where it is. And with the Ten of Swords, it's kind of like you're just, like you're just feeling hopeless, you know? Like you're just feeling like it's like the end of something. I mean, it may or may not be, you know, it depends on your situation, but I'm just going off of what you're feeling. Like you feel, like something feels hopeless. It feels like, like you're tired of waiting. You're tired of being in this situation that you're in. Um, and you're wanting, you know, you're wanting the two of cubs and it's very back and forth energy because it's like, you do have this love here. Like you do have this connection, but this person is just not moving forward towards you. Um, just feels so back and forth where it's like one day you have hope or this person is kind of like hot and cold. It feels like it's like one day you have hope. And then the next day it's just like, you're like, screw this. It's just hopeless, you know? With the Page of Swords being here, see, pages can be about communication, about messages, and swords are very, you know, it's kind of the more, it's the, the harshest suite in the tarot deck is, is the sword. It's kind of, I mean, it's passionate, but it's also stubborn and feisty and can be a bit harsh, especially when it comes to communication. So I'm almost wondering if, like, you reached out to them or they reached out to you and you were told some like you heard something you did not you found out something you didn't want to find out or you were told something you didn't want to be told um or they were harsh with you like maybe holding on to their pride and being stubborn and not really like allowing you in like maybe they messaged but it's like they're still not letting their ego go they're still kind of defensive or they're still cold and, and guarded for whatever reason because with the five of wands here it's it's very back and forth, confusing energy. I mean, with the Page of Swords, it's also almost like looking at it, it's, it almost seems like, you know, it could be what you're wanting, too. It's like you want that communication. You want that passion. You want things to move. You don't want to keep waiting. You know, you don't want to waste your life away waiting for this person. Uh, with Five of Wands, it's, it's, you know, it's two people who really want to communicate, but they're not communicating. You see, it's like, She's in pain, and he's kind of, a, he's aware of it. He knows she's in pain, but he's not looking. He's pretending like he doesn't see it. He's pretending like he's not fully aware of her pain. 
You know, it's two people who really want to get on the same page and they want to communicate, but there's there's third parties or there's pride or stubbornness or miscommunication or whatever. There's just these blocks where it's like you guys really want to talk, but you can't seem to, you know? Like you guys just aren't. I feel like there's like a lack of communication or when you do talk, you guys argue or miscommunicate and you're not really understanding each other. With the star, though, um, again, very back and forth energy because the star is all about hope. It's all about planting seeds. So it's kind of like you can't just seem to let go of this person. You know, it's like you, you keep want, you keep trying to plant those seeds with this person. Let me look into the star and see um, if I can get a sense on if there's really hope here or not. It's kind of chaotic energy. Okay, so is this person in question, you know, whoever, however it resonates, is this person, what's blocking them from reaching out? Like, what's going on in that situation? Why are they not reaching out? Like, what's happening there? Why can't they just seem to reach out? Like, what, just show me that situation. Show me what's going on there that's like, why are they not reaching out? What's going on with that? Vision, understanding, loyalty, risk, and focus. I hate to say it, and it's good. It, there's, I still feel a connection there, but it's up to you whether it's worth it to wait for this because, you know, you do have multiple soulmates that you can be happy with. Um, please do not dislike my videos just because I... I told you know gave you a message that you didn't want to hear um i hate giving these kind of readings too i much i'd much rather give you guys a reading saying you know your, your person is like right around the corner and they're they're coming forward so so because if you dislike my videos and it, it stops youtube from promoting them so please don't do that just because you you know because i was honest with my videos you know what i mean like i don't ever want to sugarcoat things i always want to be honest with you guys and and tell you what i channel so that you can you know, decide if you want to stay with this person and keep trying or if you want to move on to another soulmate. You know, I'm here to help you guys with that. I'm, I'm here to help you guys move that energy. So I'm always going to be honest with you, though. You know what I mean? I'm not going to... A lot of readers will just tell you that, you know, true love, you, you know, your person is going to call you tomorrow and everything's going to be all sunshine and roses and great. And, they, you know, they'll tell you that so that you watch them. But... I'm not that reader. I'm always going to be honest with you guys so that you have clarity and you can make your own decisions based on, you know, what I pick up. So please keep that in mind. Um, and again, if this is your story, you'll know. If it's not, then don't don't bother with it. Just move on from it. But if this is your story, it should be resonating with you. So there's no need to debate about what I pick up. You know what I mean? Like if it's not your story, then you should know that. So no worries. Um, Okay, so there are still feelings here. There definitely are still feelings. But I, I feel the back and forth energy. I do feel ugh, it sucks because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into it more because I want to see if I can give you guys some clear answers um, about what you could do to move forward with this person. You know, if there is, if there is, you know, this kind of showed me what's going on and I'll explain it to you guys. But I want to do some, I want to pull some more cards too just so I can try to give you guys some better advice to see what you can do because it's really back and forth energy right now. With vision and understanding, it's almost like they do get psychic downloads that you're, uh, you know, someone that they're close to, that you're like a soulmate. You're, you're, and again, you have multiple soulmates, so you don't have to just wait for this one. There are other ones that you can be happy with if you feel like it's time for you to move on. It's, it's up to you. It's ultimately, it's your path. It's ultimately up to what you want to do. Um, but with vision and understanding, it's almost like they do get these insights into the connection. Like they, they do have this, I don't know if it's like dreams or just psychic downloads or telepathy or whatever it is, but it's like they just have some kind of understanding that this is a deep psychic connection. Um, they know this connection is different. But with loyalty and risk, it's almost like they're kind of focusing on the karmic right now, I feel. Like they're kind of being more loyal to the karmic at the moment because it's like they see you as a risk. They see it. It's like something different, you know. It's it's not what they're used to. It's a very different kind of relationship they would have with you. And, you know, you see the focus card. It's like she's just not 
she's focused on the loyalty you know what I mean it's like or he or she is just focused on like being loyal and they're kind of ignoring the risk right now let me see what else I can let me see what else I can get from this I'm sorry guys I do pick up a lot of pain from you guys at the moment like I'm getting sad just doing this reading and like I hate doing readings like this but you know you are gonna have love like you don't have to worry about that you know what I mean I am here to, to guide you guys to to help you find that love so if it's not this person if we keep doing these readings and they're, they're still they're stagnant and they're stuck with the karmic it's like we can shift that energy you know collectively this group I channel can shift that energy and you know maybe the next story in a couple weeks I'm going to be channeling a new person that's come into your life you know what I mean so don't get don't feel hopeless because of this you know what I mean um okay so we know so we got some clarity on what the situation is is there anything what can be done to shift that energy is there anything that can be done to shift that energy Anything they can, you can do to shift that energy. Let's see. Complicated lust. High priestess of spirit. Listening. Loyalty. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's almost like he or she feels this deep spiritual connection with you, and then it's like they go back and forth. Like they feel it, and then they get freaked out because they're not used to it. You know, like with, with the complicated card and lust here, it's kind of like they know, I don't know if they're fully aware of it, but it's like with the karmic, it's just, it's complicated. It's lust. It's like subconscious patterns. It's not a deep relationship, but it's like a familiar, comfortable relationship. You know what I mean? Where you're over here, you're the high priestess of spirit. You're someone that would require them to listen. You're someone that would require them to get in touch with their, their deeper side, their softer side, their more spiritual side, which is really good. You know, like you want that kind of connection. You don't want to settle for a shallow connection. You want that deep, deep connection. You want that, that, um, that loyalty. You want that, that close spiritual bond, you know? But I think it's just kind of saying that right now he's, the karmic is just kind of getting his attention right now. And it doesn't necessarily mean that he's in love with her or anything like that. It's more like it's just familiar and comfortable. So he's just kind of focusing on that at the moment. She might be, she might even notice, he or she might even notice that, you know, you're taking, um, started, that he is, his attention is kind of coming off of her a little bit, and so she's, she's demanding more of his attention because of that. Oh, uh, let me see. Sorry you guys are in such a transition, a, such a, a tough transition right now. Let me see what's going on, though. Let me see what else I can get. I mean, energy can always change, you know what I mean? Like, things could be different in a couple weeks from now. But, again, if it's back and forth, and it's been back and forth for a long time, you might, you might want to consider other soulmates. But let me see what's going on. Okay, so just some final cards just on this connection, on what we need to know about the current connection. So we've got the empath, sacred gift, prophetic dream, communication deity shaman and sacred place yeah see again unfortunately i just feel like it's very mixed energy it's almost like with the empath and then we have you know this is divine intervention here this is like a sacred gift from your guides it's almost like you're picking up on this person's emotions too much or letting them you know get the best of you and your guides are kind of coming in to protect you from that and you know you might be having dreams too about it but it's like the communication is still just not there you know it's like you're trying to get through to this person but they're It's like there's they're just like this block, you know, but you're also being protected from them, I think, you know, I think this could have been, could have even been a karmic situation maybe that you were in. Um, you have the support from the gods and goddesses, you might even want to do soul retrieval, you might have Native American spirit guides around you, 
as well as gods and goddesses, but it's also about soul retrieval, about like reclaiming yourself from this relationship. But it's it's kind of like you do, you need to find that feeling of home again, um, and you're 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 just nostalgic. So it's very it's very much like this back and forth energy. Let me see really quick if I can get any new energy coming in. So again, it, if you're you know everyone's story is is a little bit different. I know it's it's you no know, same group that I'm channeling, but I know there's going to be little variances here and there. So you really got to sit with yourself and, and try to try to be honest with yourself about this connection. Like, were they really good to you? Were you really genuinely happy? Or do you think that there is something, was this a karmic relationship? You know what I mean? Like, were you really deeply happy with them? Um, or is this something that you've been doing for months or even years and it's weighing on you and it's hurting you and it's like you miss them, you miss... You're nostalgic. You miss the old times, but it's like, are you romanticizing them? Are you romanticizing the memories? Are you just thinking about the good memories and, like, leaving out the bad memories that you guys had together? Or leaving out, you know, them cheating on you or them doing this or that? Like, you got to really be honest. you got to, like, stop and kind of be introspective and be honest with yourself and think about it, you know? Like, is this person really... Were they really good to you when you guys were together or when you had whatever you guys had in the past... Like, were they really treating you well? Like, were you really genuinely that happy with them? Were they really your person? Or is it just, like, familiar and just, like, nostalgic with them? You know what I mean? Um, like, don't romanticize them. Just try to be unbiased. If, you know, it's hard. I know it's really hard because you're going to be a little bit biased because, you you know, you have this deep emotional connection. And I've sensed a lot of pain, you know, doing this, this reading for you guys. I feel like, you know, you guys are in a lot of pain right now. Um... So you really, you know, again, just it's very back and forth energy. It's like, yes, the connection is there. Yes, they do have feelings for you, I feel. But at the same time, the karmic is really taking their attention right now. Whatever is going on, maybe she or he is going through something. And so they're kind of demanding more attention. Or maybe they feel your energy. So they're kind of trying to take um, him or her away from you more. But you have to remember, you know, your, your person, your karmic or your soulmate or whoever this is to you is allowing it. They're allowing this person to get in between you. They're making that choice to be with this person. So as much as it sucks, um, you know, do keep that in mind that you can't just blame the, this person's karmic for it. It's also his or her fault for choosing them when they could have you. You know what I mean? It's, it's their decision to choose fear and choose familiarity over true love. Um, so yeah, please, I know you guys are in pain, but please just try to be introspective and try to really make sure you're not romanticizing this connection. Make sure this is still worth it to you. Make sure that you're not just wasting your life away and wasting your time with this person and wasting your energy and giving them too much, you know? Um, make sure this isn't a futile fight. Make sure that, that this is still what you really want and still what's best for you. Like really be honest with yourself. Be really introspective and just be completely honest with yourself about who you are, about what you want, about how this person treated you, about what you could have with this person. You know, just, just try to really look at things in an honest light. Try not to romanticize them. Try to just really think about, about the connection in a more honest light, I think. And I do think uncrossing work, if you can get like, I don't know if you guys do rituals or not, but if you can get like an uncrossing bath, it's pretty easy to make. You just, you just need salt and herbs and, you know, essential oils are good for it too. But it would be good to do some uncrossing and healing work right now to clear your energy. You know, you're, you might have some chakra blocks. You do have some heavy energy around you right now. So, so that's really important because I really feel like this person has hurt you and drained you a lot. So, and again, it's up to you guys. It's up to you if you want to continue with this or not. Just remember that you have soulmates out there who could make you happier. If this person is still hurting you, still dragging you down, still not being emotionally available with you, you know, you do have other soulmates out there. So it's your story. I'll channel for it. Whether whether I get, you know, sad readings like this or I get happy readings, it's it's your story. In a couple weeks when I do my next, my next video, it's, it's, you know, you guys decide how that energy plays out. You know what I mean? Like, if everyone that listens to this video decides, you know, screw this person, I'm done, I don't want to do this anymore, 
and you start going out and living your life, then maybe in two weeks I'm going to channel somebody new for you guys that's come in. But if you guys decide, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to keep doing this, which is up to you. I totally support whatever decisions you guys want to make. It's your life. But, you know, if that does happen, then in two weeks I might get this, get very similar energy where it's, it's still kind of back and forth, kind of, you know, your emotions being played with. So, you know, I just want to, I just want to put that out there because I think people, when people listen to YouTube readers and they get psychic readings and all that, sometimes they kind of think things are set in stone. And I mean, there, there are certain people like soulmates and twin flames that we are meant to meet, but you still have more freedom and more options and, and, you know, more control of your destiny than you might realize. You know what I mean? Like energy can change on a daily basis. Like you could text this person tonight and you know, the energy might be worse or better tomorrow based on that. You know what I mean? Like the energy, it's, it's, I'm just picking up on the energy. So it's, it's ultimately your story and I'm picking up on that story, but you're in control of your story. And this other person is in control of, of, as far as the romantic story goes, it's like you both are, in, are you know, you're both in control of that. And that's what I'm going to pick up when I do my reading. So, you know, just, just keep that in mind that, you know, you're the master of your destiny and your story. So you can choose to, to keep doing this or you can move on. It's, it's up to you. It's whatever you want to do. But let me see. So if you guys do decide to move on, what is the energy going to look like in a couple, well, I can't say a couple weeks from now, but what's where where are you gonna most likely be moving on to if if you if you do let this person go let's see what's coming in for you yeah we have some good energy here actually Yeah, new love. See, so new love could be around the corner for you if you want it. It's up to you. Okay, so so chakras are coming up. I think it's, an, it's another emphasis on clearing your chakras. You might have blocked chakras. You do need to do chakra clearing work. Um, but once you do that, like once you do the healing work, the chakra clearing, the uncrossing, the road opening, all of that... Um, then you do have, you know, wish granted here. This is, it says, this card says, this is a potent time to manifest the life that you want. Answered prayers, success, abundance. You know, choosing your own path, choosing your own destiny, making your life what you want it to be. Um, and with clear path here. So I think chakras and clear path kind of go together too, where it's saying you might have chakra blocks, especially the root chakra. If that's blocked, it can block um, love for manifesting in your physical life in the physical world so you might want to work on you and you can do it at home you don't have to go out and do it you can just do like youtube um you know just listen to like youtube medita uh, meditations with like stones and crystals and just do the visualizations at home you don't have to go out and professionally do it it does help if you go to someone legit but but again you can you can do it at home you can learn to do it at home so it's it's not something you have to go pay for clear path you know obstacles are removed this is this is road opening magic road opening in general this is new love new circumstances getting out of that ten of swords energy finding finally reaching the light at the end of the tunnel um and it's interesting spiritual aid here because we have stones and crystals here so it could be saying you know do some chakra clearing work at home using stones and crystals and meditation and once you do that i think once you I think your perspective is going to start shifting. Like, I do feel your pain now, but I almost, like, when I did this spread, I actually, this spread right here, I actually felt a lot better. Like, I felt like things were more clear. So I think once you kind of start being honest with yourself, start meditating, being more introspective, I feel like that energy is going to start clear and doing the chakra clearing work and doing, like, the uncrossing work and the healing and the shadow work, doing all of that, just, like, letting things, letting go of the things that are holding you back and not serving you any longer. I think things are going to clear out for you and you're going to be happy. You're going to feel more free. You're going to feel like you're not being weighed down anymore. You're going to feel like, you know, your heart is open to new love finally. Um, with clear path, that also means new love and new circumstances. It does mean road opening magic or just road opening in general, like just a clear path ahead. But, you know, obstacles being removed, new love um, coming in, you're summoning it, you know, you're setting the intention, you're, you're calling, you're making your life what, what you want it to be, you're, you're taking the next steps to seek out what you love, 
And you could be attracting somebody who's like a like a secret admirer, somebody who's kind of shy. They might not ha not come forward with their feelings at first, but they might just kind of like watch you. But it's I mean, it's someone who has like a sweeter, softer energy than this current person that you've been dealing with. So it's really good overall. And prophetic dream, it's might be connecting with this person in the astral realm. Like through dreams, I think. Yeah, I feel like again, I feel like it's it's your path. It's it's saying there is another soulmate around, I feel like is what it's saying. You know what I mean? I don't know if you've noticed them or if they're just in your energy field, if you've met them or yet or not, uh if you've met them yet or not, but but there is that energy there. So it's it's again your choice. What what kind of life do you want? What do you want to do? Do you want to stay in the same situation or do you want to shift that energy? Just really really um go inward and trust yourself and make these deep serious decisions for yourself so that you can have the life that you want um thank you for watching if this resonates please go ahead and subscribe thank you